Hi guys, Overarch here, and today I'm going to walk you through how to get some more frames per second in Fortnite. So Fortnite isn't that graphically demanding of a game, but if you're running on particularly old hardware, you could have an issue running it. And even if you run it great, you can always run it better and at a higher FPS. So these couple quick tips are going to help you get more performance out of the same hardware in the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out first where Fortnite is saved. The easiest way to do that is to just go to your Epic Games Launcher, right click it, and go to Properties. So you're going to start out at this General tab. You need to go to Shortcut tab, and then hit Open File Location. This is going to take you to wherever the Epic Games Launcher is saved. So this next section, I'm going to go kind of slowly here. I'm just going to hit this up arrow a couple times. I'm going to keep going back. So I've hit it three times. There's four and five. Okay, so now I can see, after hitting it five times, I can see this Fortnite folder here now. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click on Fortnite Game. And then Binaries. Then Windows 64, or for you, it might say Windows 34 or Mac, just depending on what you're running. I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to scroll on down until I see Fortnite launcher. I'm going to right click that and go to properties. And I'm going to go to compatibility. And I'm going to hit override high DPI scaling behavior, scaling performance by and make sure that's ticked to application. So what this does is it disables what's called high DPI scaling, which can actually be very performance intensive. Uh, and it can potentially let you get a little bit more performance out of the game basically by doing nothing. So the next thing I'm going to do is just kind of like general troubleshooting. I'm going to go into, if you're running on a laptop, go into whatever your power saver, your power settings are in the right, and make sure you're on performance settings. If you're not on performance, then uh, turn them on to performance. Make sure your laptop's plugged in, all that good stuff that you would normally do to uh, make sure you get good performance. The next thing I can do is actually to help my loading times, if that's an issue for you, you can do what's called disk defragmentation. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to type in defrag, and it should be the first thing that pops up. So I'm going to open this up, and I'm just going to select all my uh, different hard drives here. I'm going to hit Analyze All and then Optimize All. And this is going to run for a couple hours. And what it's doing is it's basically moving all the stuff that's on your uh, hard drives around and making it closer together, physically closer together, so that it gets read uh, faster. So this is a common question I get on these types of videos. A lot of people ask me, is this going to get them banned? And no, it's not. You're just changing a setting. Tweaking a setting will not get you banned from the game. Uh, for those of you who are not running Windows 10, A, why not? And B, this override high DPI scale scaling behavior is going to be called something slightly different. I forget what it is off the top of my head. Look down in the comments below. I'll have a pinned comment um, telling you what you need to check instead. Just if you don't see that override high DPI scaling, check the comment real fast and that'll tell you. So, as always, guys, let me know if you have your own tips for getting more performance out of Fortnite. I hope to see you next time. Bye.